Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we're diving into the sky-high world of New York City's Billionaire's Row. Get ready to discover why some of the most expensive apartments in the world are sitting empty. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to live in the sky? Imagine waking up every morning to a view of Central Park from 1,000 feet in the air. That's what life is like on Billionaire's Row in New York City. But here's something strange. Many of these super tall, super fancy buildings are half empty. Why would anyone build such amazing homes if no one's going to live in them? Let's find out. What is Billionaire's Row? Billionaire's Row isn't a real street. It's a nickname for a group of super tall, super skinny buildings near Central Park in New York City. These buildings are so tall and thin, they look like pencils sticking up into the sky. They're called Billionaire's Row because you need to be very, very rich to live there. These buildings are pretty new. The first one, called 157, was finished in 2014. Since then, more and more of these skinny skyscrapers have popped up. They have fancy names like 432 Park Avenue, 111 West 57th Street, and Central Park Tower. What makes these buildings special? The buildings on Billionaire's Row are not like normal skyscrapers. They're super skinny. Imagine a tower as tall as the Empire State Building, but only as wide as a house. That's how skinny these buildings are. Building such tall, skinny towers is hard. The wind up there is very strong, and it can make the building sway back and forth. To stop this, engineers put giant weights at the top of the buildings. These weights move around to keep the building steady, kind of like how you move your arms to keep your balance when you're standing on one foot. Another cool thing about these buildings is that they have huge windows. From the top floors, you can see all of Central Park and the whole city spread out below you. It's like being in an aeroplane, but you're in your living room. Why are they so expensive? Now, here's where things get crazy. The apartments in these buildings are some of the most expensive homes in the world. Some of them cost more than $100 million. That's more money than most of us will see in our whole lives. They're so expensive because of the amazing view you get of New York City. From these apartments, you can see all of Central Park and the entire city spread out below. The location is also super special, right next to Central Park in the middle of Manhattan. These buildings have fancy stuff inside too, like private elevators, swimming pools, and movie theaters just for the people who live there. Plus, living on Billionaire's Row is like owning a very fancy car or a piece of art. It shows that you're super rich. So why are they half empty? Now we come to the big mystery. Even though these apartments are amazing and cost so much money, many of them are empty. Almost half of the apartments in these buildings don't have anyone living in them. Some people who buy these apartments don't live in them all the time. They might have homes in other cities or countries and only visit New York a few times a year. Other rich people buy these apartments not to live in them, but as a way to keep their money safe. It's like putting money in a piggy bank, but the piggy bank is a giant skyscraper. There are also a lot of these fancy apartments now, so rich people have more choices. This means some apartments don't get sold. In New York, people who own these fancy apartments don't have to pay as much in taxes as you might think. This makes it easier for rich people to buy them, even if they don't plan to live there. Why is this a problem? You might be thinking, so what if rich people want to buy empty apartments? Well, it can cause some problems for the city. When lots of apartments are empty, it means fewer people are living in the neighborhood. This can make the area feel less lively and fun. If these apartments were taxed differently, the city could use that money to help people who need homes or to make the city better for everyone. These super tall, skinny buildings also change how New York City looks. Some people think they're amazing, but others don't like how they block the sun in Central Park. What can be done about it? People in New York are trying to figure out how to fix this problem. Some people want to make a new tax for apartments that are left empty. This might encourage owners to rent them out or sell them to people who will live there. Others want to change the rules about how these buildings can be built. 
to make sure they fit in better with the rest of the city. Instead of focusing on super expensive apartments, some people think the city should build more homes that regular people can afford. What do you think? So now you know the mystery of Billionaire's Row. These amazing, super tall buildings are a new part of New York City's famous skyline. They show how good we are at building tall structures, but they also show some problems with how we think about homes and money. What do you think about Billionaire's Row? Would you want to live in a home a thousand feet in the air? Or do you think it's better to have your feet on the ground? There's no right or wrong answer, but it's fun to think about. Remember, cities are always changing. Who knows what New York's skyline will look like in 10 or 20 years? Maybe you'll be the one to design the next amazing skyscraper. Thanks for joining me on this adventure into the sky-high world of Billionaire's Row. If you enjoyed learning about these incredible buildings and the mystery behind them, don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. And if you want to learn more about amazing buildings and cities around the world, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We've got lots more cool stories to tell you. Until next time, keep looking up. You never know what you might see.